Hey everybody, welcome back to another Meeple Peak board game video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Salt and Sea. It is a DeVere game and they've been coming out with some real good games here lately. Um, this one caught my eye and seemed really interesting. It's in a tiny box, but it's not, not lightweight by any means. Uh, literally and figuratively, the box is like packed. And it takes, you know, it's a, it's, it seems like it's going to be a, a midweight euro. Uh, but anyway, player count is one to four, ages 14 and up. The play time is 120 minutes, and the MSRP is 39.99. Now it's based off here. It says the Sultan Sea in California is one of the greatest brine reserves. In the USA, your company is dedicated to the ecological exploitation of this material whose process allows the production of geothermal energy as well as extraction of lithium. It's a pretty cool sounding game. Now one thing right off the bat I'm not crazy about, stickers. I do know the stickers are more ecological ecologically friendly but yeah see people leave goo behind and stuff not crazy about the goo anyway i'll clean i'll get those off and clean that up but in the meantime i need something to open it with here we go carefully cut some stickers I don't know how many people are familiar with Devere, but they've been they've got some really good games on the shelf. There's uh, Red Cathedral, The White Castle, uh, Three Ring Circus, uh, La Cromosa. Um, man, yeah, just so many good games. Oh, and here we have all the different manuals. They have every language covered. Almost. So let's take a look at the rule book. It is a hefty, hefty rule book for a little game. So it looks like we have a little bit of uh, backstory into Sultan Sea. And then components. There we go. <clears throat> Looks like a good list of components. Game boards, action cards, some wooden bits, player preparation. Looks like a decent rule book. I'll have to read through it though before I can make a really good decision on that because some of them, uh, what is it? Um, I have another one. Bamboo. I love Devere games, but their rule books sometimes. Bamboo's rule book was really hard to decipher. At least it was for me. I was not crazy about it. It's a really nice looking rule book. They put a lot of time into it. That's nice. Some card explanations, action cards, objective cards, research cards. Yeah, see there's goo all over the place for those stickers. <laughs> solo version. You got a solo bread. You have to give it a go. Okay. Right off the bat, check that out. Some really nice wooden pieces. Good size. Cool laser cut pieces, some big meeples. And here we have some more cool wooden bits. Silica, silica, silica. Looks like a drill, flame, battery.
Very nice. Nice wood bits. Okay, and even the cards are paper wrapped. That's nice. Set those out of the way for just a bit. Looks like that's the main board. Got some player boards, one in each color. That's nice. And some tokens. Not very many. main board looks like. Nice. Give it a little easy bend. It looks very nice. I like the, the artwork is very nice in the back. Um, you know, it's not in your face, horrible bright colors. It is not overwhelming to everything on the board that you need. Cool. I'm looking forward to playing this one. Let's see, let's start with these larger cards. Like quick reference sheets for all the different languages. Yeah, here we go. Develop a business project. Yeah. That's all I really need. All the rest of these can get set aside. Oh, that's cool. They tell you the pages. Yeah. That's a good reference. Just shows you all the pages for everything, which is really nice. And what's also nice, and you think this would be something that everyone would do is there's one for every player. I've gotten a couple of games lately where there's either been just one for everybody to share or it's like one short and and I don't know. I don't understand that. If you're going to have a player aid, have a player aid. And honestly, every game should have a player aid. There's, well, almost every game. There's some that don't need it, you know. King of Tokyo or um, slip some of these out. There we go. Some of those more family oriented games don't really doesn't really need them. So they act as money and action cards. Oh, that's nice too. So they show you the denomination on the other side, so you want to sit there. How much was that again? Just keep flipping that over back and forth. Cool, yeah. Unfortunately, at this point in time, none of this means a darn thing to me. Shall soon. What else we got? I imagine some of these in here somewhere uh, for solo play. On oh, solo.
I would imagine, okay, what did I do with the rules? What did I do with the English rules? There they are. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have a bunch of cards. So these guys here are objective cards. Five long term and, sorry, five short term and ten long term. <clears throat> And what determines that is this little, there's a tiny, tiny little diamond right there. And those, the one is a short term. And this two diamond here is a long term for some victory points. Let's see, contracts. I don't know if this means like a certain corporation or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Research cards. And then these are the action cards. These are claim cards. And once again, just like the quick reference, it does tell you the page where these are at to help find it fast. I really like that. And then this one, yep, these are solo mode. I probably will not be needing those ever. I'm not a solo gamer. Cool. Well, there you go. Salt in the Sea. It's a Devere game. 40 bucks. It's a little little game, but there's a lot packed in there. Should be fun. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section. I like to hear from everybody. And thank you, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.